If you're new to expense tracking and want an easy place to start, this video is for you. I'm gonna share the Google Sheets template that I've used for the last two years to track my expenses, and I'll show you how you can build it yourself. I built my own super simple spreadsheet, say that five times fast, to track the things that are most important to me. Cash in, cash out, and what my money is going towards by category. Here's a preview of what our finished spending tracker is going to look like. It has a section to show your income, a section to show the spending that doesn't change per month, and a section for your variable spending. These three pieces together will contribute to our total spend section and you'll be able to see how much is remaining. You'll also get this handy dandy chart to show you which categories you spend the most money on each month. Let's start with a section for cash in. I get paid bi-weekly, so I'm gonna create two rows for paycheck one and two. I'm also going to create a row for extras, which is where any cash I get from odd jobs like babysitting or gifts would go. Now I'm gonna highlight these yellow to show me that I need to fill these in manually. And here's where our first formula goes. Equals sum, open parentheses, highlight the cells, close parentheses. Now, when you add a number to your in, it will add it up for you. I also like to note when I received the paycheck or extras in this column over here, but that's entirely optional. Next is the bills section. These are the things where the number might vary, but I have to pay them every month. First, I'll create columns for base spend, amount, and category. Let's call this one rent, utilities, car insurance, phone, and I'm also going to add retirement savings because I want to treat this like a bill and make it a priority. The category is important for the graph that we'll make later that breaks down our spending by month. So this one will be rent, and then the rest will be bills, except of course retirement. And I will fill in the yellow, which means I need to manually fill that in later. I'm adding these outlines because I think it makes the whole thing look a whole lot prettier, but of course that's also optional. I'm also going to add a cell here for total base spend, just like our total in. Just like the total in, total base, we'll calculate with equals, sum, open parentheses, highlight the cells, close parentheses. Now that we've logged our income and base spend, let's talk about variable spend. Here, I'm gonna make a column for date, column for item, the amount, and the category. Keeping category in the same column is going to help us when we build our chart later. Now here, let's say on the first, I went to fill up the car with gas. And I'll say I spent $30, because gas is expensive now. And in this category, I'm gonna say it's the car category. And we carry on like that throughout the month. So I'm gonna fill in a few examples. Okay, so let's say in the beginning of the month, I spent money in the categories of car, grocery, and cat. You could type out your categories each time, but we can also add some data validation to create a drop-down list. Here's how we do that. Click on an empty cell, go to data, and then go to data validation. Add a rule and click drop-down as the criteria. Option one, call it car. Option two, grocery. Option three, cat. And then I'll also add categories for fun and gifts, which is a very useful category around the holidays. Chip is a new display style from Google Sheets that I don't particularly love, so I'm just going to choose to display it as an arrow. And then I'm going to click Done. Now we can drag and carry on this validation to the rest of our chart. So this will go in car, grocery, and cat. Now that we have our income and our spending trackers, let's build up some totals. Let's show total spend over here and also remaining to see how much we have left out of what we spent from our income. Total spend equals the sum of our total base spend and the totals in the amount column of our variable spend. Be sure to close the parentheses and hit enter. Now you can see in this example, the total spend is $610. So how much would you have at the end of the month based on this income and this total spend? That's even easier. Equals total in minus 
the cell with your total spent, and hit enter. This shows that of both these examples, there are $490 remaining. Let's see how each category stacks up with a chart. To do that, click Insert and Chart. Next, let's make sure that it is a pie chart. For the label, let's select the column with our category labels. For this case, it's column F. We'll click OK. Now you've selected F1 through F3. Now we need to add a value. Our amounts are going to be in column E. So let's click column E. Now we have a very crazy pie chart with bills showing up three times. To fix that, make sure your labels are aggregate. This will combine all of the same category name. So you can see bills are 49.2% of this chart right now. But wait, what if you don't want to hover over it to see that 300 is the value of bills? You can also edit the chart and click customize. Under pie chart, you can choose a slice label such as value. If your legend doesn't appear, click this legend drop down, and you might have it selected as none. You can have a legend in the top, bottom, left, right, labeled, or leave it on auto for Google Sheets to pick what you want it to appear. Now let's name this sheet January and duplicate it for February. Now you can fill in your paychecks or extras, the things that you spend money on, and you get to see a nice easy chart of what you've spent money on, and that can inform your choices for the future.